Right guys, welcome back to House Flipper. In this video, we are going to be renovating the most expensive house in the game. And I've actually done every single job that's available now. We have no more in our inbox. So if you go browser, I'm hoping my frames don't dramatically drop like normal. Because this house has three floors to it. Now, there's two floors and then there's probably a basement as well. So the house alone is 282 meters squared and it's costing 205,000 pound. I'm hoping to make at least 50 to 100,000 pound profit when we're done with this house. Right, that's the outside done. Let's head in, pick these up. So it's not actually that bad. There's just boxes everywhere and there's dirt. Okay, let's check all the rooms. Okay, it, it just needs furnishing, really. And, like, paint on the walls and everything. There's no, like, cockroach nests. There's not massive, massive amounts of dirt. Aha, there is a basement. Whoa, this space down here is massive. Okay, so... Let's get cleaning. We're going to sell everything that's in here. And we'll try and figure out what to do with the rooms. I want to make a nice bit of profit. I don't want to get rid of that because I don't think you can buy fireplaces. So we just clean all this up. Right, so I've done all the mountain balls on this floor. And we actually have a bathtub instead of a shower in this house. And there's a standard switch there. Right, so we're going to have this little section as the kitchen. Then we have this big space as the living room. Okay, so I'm going to get doing the walls and put in the furniture in for this floor. And then we will carry on from there. Right, I've done the ground floor and the basement. So what we're going to do is do the whole of the upstairs together. And then I'll take you downstairs and show you the other two floors. I've been trying to do it as quick as possible. But it's taken the timer at the top right under the mini maps as 58 minutes. That's reset once. So we're going to start by cleaning everything up. You can see I painted all the walls white just out here. That, that's the only thing I've done. The rest of it, all the rooms we're doing together. Right, so we've got a brand new toilet and sink. So the only thing we need to fit is the shower. shower and let's get it assembled is there anything else no there's no more mountables in there right let's get the rads on the wall these only take a second and then this room get the radiator on the wall I can't remember if it was the last video I did, the uh, underground secret bunker, or if it was one before where I spoke about the mountables, like they need to put the mounts in the actual catalogue, because I'd love to get air conditioning, especially like in an upstairs, because in the real world, in my house, it's like a sauna sitting upstairs. And it's horrible. We had all our walls injected with this like expanding foam stuff. And when they did it, they said, oh, it's fine. It'll keep the heat in during the winter. And then it'll keep you nice and cool during the summer. Well, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't actually work except for keeping heat in. Like it, it doesn't allow heat to release. Because it's literally like a sauna anywhere in my house. But upstairs is the worst. So yeah, it would be nice to have the uh, the mountables, like having the mountains to buy so that you can place them. Right, another window over here. Right, 
which rooms have we done? Right, we've done the windows in there because they're open. Done them in here. These ones. And there's not a window in the upstairs bathroom. I'm trying to think of what to do to these rooms. Because obviously you guys don't know yet what I've done to the other two floors in this house. Whereas I do. I'm thinking... Hold up, let me quickly... Is that all of them? Yeah, we've, we've done all the windows now. So, in the bathroom, I think I might just leave it as it is. Because we have all the essentials. What we can get in here, actually, is a laundry basket. Put that at an angle. Put it under the cell radiator. And then I think what we're going to do is just redo the floor quickly. That only takes a second. Are these the big... I don't think they are the big... Uh, yeah, they are. Mm. Right, we're going to go with that. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. And I'm going to use paint in every single room because it's so much quicker and easier than uh, using wall tiles or wall panels and coverings. Let's go with a pastel pink bathroom. I don't know how it's going to look with the uh, tiles we've got. I've got most of the perks on this game now. So I can do... Four walls at one time. I didn't even need to open that. Close, please. Refill our roller. Yeah, I can do four walls at a time. I use a lot less paint. I don't overuse the paint, so I only... Like, when you first start playing this game, you can just paint over the same wall over and over again. Whereas once you've done a section of the wall, it's complete. Let's have a look. Turn light on. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Sell that paint. Right, I'm going to close the doors when the rooms are done. So we've... Oh, we haven't mounted the radiator in here. I swear we did. It only takes two seconds. I'm glad it's a radiator and not a shower or bathtub or sink. Right, there's all green on the mini-map, yeah, all the mountables are done now. Right, I'm trying to think. There's four rooms up here. We could have... Right, if you look at the buyers on the left, we could say that it's that family. So we're going to do a master bedroom, which would be the, for the mum and the dad. Then we're going to do a boys' and a girls' room. And then we'll do a baby... Sort of like nursery room. And the parents are going to have a nice pine floor. There we go. And we'll even put it in that bit there under the door. Not that you see that bit. Right. And then we're going to get... Uh... Oh, I did not see that. We're going to buy one of those for the wall. Just so It's not going to stay there. That's just so it's ready. Because I've never like realised that's in the catalogue. Trying to think of the wall colour. So we go to paints. Let's go with a grey fog. I'm just trying to get this done quick because I've spent so much time on this house so far. And I want you guys to see, as well as for me to see, how much people are willing to pay at auction because this is free floors. And I'm running out of money. I've got 22 grand left. I can't remember how much I had when I bought this house. I know it was 205 grand to buy, but did I have, I think I had 243, didn't I? So that's 205, that leaves me with 38, I spent like 15,000 doing all the furnishing and decorating and stuff. In these rooms, we're going to go with doing this because downstairs I've done it a little bit different. Right, is that the whole room? I think it is. Let's sell this paint. 
Let's get a nice double bed. We have to go back to the all section. Double bed. Let's get the lavender one. But let's get it. Do we want it? No, we're going to stick with Lily. And we're not going to have a central. We're going to have it underneath the window. If I can get it there, come on, please. There we go. And that's not ideal because of drafts coming in and stuff like that. It can be... Like you can catch colds and stuff from the draft and you can get quite ill. But it's a game and I don't really care about the people as long as they pay me a load of money. The weird thing is, with this TV, I can't use it. I noticed this when I was doing the other floors in this house. If we go to the standard TV, and we chuck it on the floor, you can actually turn it off. But you can turn it on and off. But with this one, you can't do anything. The one that sticks to the wall, you can't use and there's no remotes or anything that you can buy in game right we're gonna leave the room as it is oh hold up we can't chest of drawers we get a mini one put that under the window like so and then hopefully we have enough room on this wall for one of these yes The difference in the colour of the wood is going to really bug me. But it's different, so I like it. We'll quickly put a bedside table in, why not? And you know what's coming next. We're going to go for a lamp. And we're going to get my favourite table lamp tube. Stick it in the middle of there, there we go. Right, a nice quick bedroom done for the mum and the dad. And then we've got the pink bathroom... Here is going to be the baby nursery room. We've gone with a black like changing unit, and we've gone for the, like this the default crib that comes with orange and would you call that white or is it like a creamy sort of colour? Oh, there's one thing I have thought of for babies on this game. Right, we need to go through this quick before I actually forget what it is. That we're going to get for the baby. We can get a bunny. Can you set the bunny on top of the changing table? No. Can you put it on the windowsill? Yeah, right. Bunny, be good. Do not jump out that window. Baby's toys. I'm going to put them all down here on the floor. Right, that's it. So now we just paint. And we're going to try and go with like a neutral oh I might get the coffee with milk yeah let's get that one right let's get the painting underway this may be a little bit darker than I wanted but hold up let's have a look I need to do I need to get the paint I need to do this wall quickly because the light is on it yeah it doesn't look too bad Alright, and what I'm going to do after I've painted this room, because that'll be this room done, is we're going to say that the other children, for the other rooms we're doing, we're going to say they're in between the ages of 10 and like 14. Then that way, it gives me a rough idea of what to do to the bedrooms. That is not actually a bad room, and I'm happy we didn't get paint everywhere. Should have painted first. Always paint before you furnish a room. But anyway, that room is done. So, so far, parents slash master bedroom kind of thing. A baby nursery bedroom with a little bunny sat on the windowsill. So now this side, we've got the pink bathroom in there. We're going to have the girl near the top of the stairs. And then we'll have the boy at the back. Not for any particular reason. We get the boys' bedroom done, so we're going to go with a nice... We'll go with an indigo for this room. We're going to go for the typical colours for a boy and a girl's room. And the floor, we're getting some blue carpet, so floor... No, that's tiles, floor panels, fitted carpet blue. I have no idea what we're going to do for the girls' carpet. Well, the girls' floor, because they don't have girly colours 
We can get some orange. No, not orange tiles in the bedroom. No. Probably gonna have to go with green carpet. No, we'll go with beige carpet. Let's quickly go do that now so I don't forget. And so we've done the painting and now we need to furnish the room. What we're going to do is... Well, ages did I say in between 10 and 14? So the boy's going to want to be playing games so we can get ourselves a standard computer desk. He's going to want it... I'll get him a steel desk. And we'll put that on this wall. Wait, no, this wall over here. I'll quickly do this uh, computer setup. And then we'll continue because this is like the same stuff you always get. Whilst I was doing the boys' bedroom, I just noticed that in the catalogue. And I thought rainbow, like learning colours and stuff for kids. So I put that in there. That's the computer desk done now. So we're going to move on. We're going to get the teenager i'm going to say he's 13 we're going to get him a double bed that's all we can really get in here we're going to get a tv and that'll be about it just because i don't want to overdo it i've been doing this house for a long long time now this is going to be the girl's bedroom and we're going to paint it in your pastel pink no we're going to get amaranth adventure Right, quickly do the painting again, the same as I did in the boys' bedroom. And then I believe that's the whole of the upstairs done. And um, we'll have the little house tour. And then get this on the marketplace up for auction. And hopefully we've made at least, I'm, I'm wanting like 70, 80,000 pound profit. I've just finished the painting. Now we're going to get a girly bed. Okay, that's not really... A very nice bed, but it doesn't matter. And we're pretty much going to do the same in this room as we did in the boys. So we're going to get a TV, stick that on the wall. I think I've been two and a half hours doing this. I'm going to get a couple of pictures up on the wall in this room. To get the nice flowers. No, that's too small. I want big pictures. There we go, that'll do. Get one of those. Yeah, that looks better. It's not perfect, but... It doesn't matter too much. We didn't actually do a lot. And I forgot, I think I forgot about the wardrobe and everything. Right, I think that's going to do it. You've got the TV, dressing table, wardrobe, no chest of drawers. Actually, we can put a chest of drawers in there. Right, so you've got a chest of drawers, bed, wardrobe, dressing table, and TV, a few pictures on the wall. The frames are really pissing me off. So, the upstairs, let's quickly open all the doors. We have the pink, if I turn the lights on quickly, we have the pink bathroom, them lights don't really do a lot, you can see it anyway, we have the pink bathroom, we have the master slash mum and dad bedroom, across here is the gaming boys bedroom, and then we have the baby nursery room, and then we have the girls room. So. I'm going to quickly teleport us to outside and we'll do a house tour. So, this is the front of the house and all the windows are open and stuff as always. What we're going to do is walk in the front door. And in the first room on the left you have like a little gaming kind of room. You've got a couple of setups in there, a few TVs. Nothing special but if you're a gamer or... You want to just sit there and chill on the internet watching some YouTube or something. Then that's your go-to room. Across we have a little study sort of room if you want to sit there and read your books. I was going to stock up the bookshelf or the bookcase with books. But for some reason you can only lay them flat. So I'm not going to bother with that. I would like to stand them up. But you can't do that. And then in here you've got the bathroom. Bath, sink, mirror, blah, blah, blah. Just standard. Orange tiles, that's why I didn't want them in the girls' bedroom upstairs. They would not look good in a bedroom. And then from there, we have the living room area. We've got a corner sofa. Unit with the TV on. We've kept the fireplace. It's the only thing we kept from this house when we first bought it. Then we've got a little table with the fern plant. A dining table kind of thing. Then we've got the kitchen through here. 
We've got some nice, I'm going to say they're cupboards on the wall. Coffee maker, teapot, like your standard kitchen, microwave, cooker. Then you've got some cabinets, chopping board and everything. Another plant, fridge. That's your kitchen. Then you've just seen upstairs, so downstairs, which is the final part of the house. We've got a nice little plant there. And I did put a couple of pictures on the walls as you walk in the door. So downstairs, it's all painted white. I put a wall in here because there wasn't a wall there when we first bought the house. You come down here, you've got guns. This is like a survival place, but it's not a bunker because your kids and everything. It's like a family sort of basement kind of thing. So if any trouble does occur, then there's guns down here. And then the dad is storing his paint around the corner. And he's got a light so that when it's dark, you can still see the colours of your paint. And then we've got a power generator. If your electric runs out, there's an outage or something, then that's going to kick in as backup. Then you've got an escape if you ever need to escape down into the sewers. And then the dad's like little workshops over here. He's got a computer. Got some gas cylinders, some boxes with all of his stuff in. Then over here, if anyone gets hurt, this is like your, it's, it's like a medicine cupboard kind of thing. Even though you can't put stuff on these cabinets, you've got first aid kits there. And then in here, if the kids are ever naughty, then you can send them to their naughty rooms. And you can decide the time you put them in here. But I've just done this to try and speed up the process of making this house. Because I've only got 17 grand left. I've been doing this for two and a half hours. So I just wanted to decorate the whole house, furnish the rooms as quick as possible so that we've got a three-story house done. So this would be the boys' room. You've got the bed, emergency food, water, and a fan. And then it's exactly the same in here, but pink for a girl. So you've got the food, the water, the bed, and the fan. And then just quickly, because we've already seen it, but the upstairs, you've got the normal housing. So you've got the... Mum and the dad's bedroom, the boys, the girls, the babies, and then the bathroom. This is fucking horrible. I really do apologise for these frames, but there is nothing I can do about it. It's horrible to even play like this, let alone show you guys it. But this is the most expensive, like the biggest house you can do on this game. So I'm hoping with the other ones, the frames won't be as bad. If they are, I'm really going to have to consider using OBS or just put my graphics settings all the way down to the bottom. Like, they're one up from bottom, so it's still pretty bad as it is. And there's no, like, fog or anything on like that. I don't have any effects or anything on. But I don't know. It just... My recordings just don't like it. But anyway, we're going to auction the house. Please, 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 can we make a profit? This house costs £205,000. So let's see how we do at auction. £17,000 left. I spent 2 hours 39 minutes pretty much doing this. It's got 13 rooms, a basement and a first floor. 283 Please, 289 I want to get to 305 Please, I beg, 305 I'm not going to, am I? If I spent more time, I possibly could have done. There's still more people. 296 They went up £300. They went up three grand, so it went from three hundred pounds up to three grand. Whoa! What the fuck? They've won it, haven't they? The family that I said about. Three hundred and fifty-six grand. That Smoth family. They put in massive fucking bids. They went from three hundred and two thousand up to three hundred and thirty-nine. I'm taking that. We just made £134,000 on that house. Yeah, we've got £373,000. And you saw how empty some of the rooms were. If you was to sit there and put... I know it's going to take... Like, it's basically going to take the piss. But if you sat there for about four or five hours just doing that one house, put massive, massive effort into it, you could well over double what that house costs at auction. Because what, we paid 205 and got, what was it, 356 But that was mental. And now you can see that now we're back here, the game's running nice and smooth. I did redecorate the outside of our little office. I put the white panels on the front and then I just did like a... I can't even remember what this paint's called, the colour of it. But it's like a lime sort of green. And it's just because I found out 
I think it is from the Uncle's Bunker video that you can do the outside of the buildings. So that's why I did that. But that's mad. £373,000. Let's quickly have a recap. If I can go into the browser, please. Yeah, so the time I spent in the house was 2 hours 40. I sold 50 items. So that's only, what, £55,000 away from doubling the price of the house. So that's easy done. And I'm quite interested, if you guys play this game, and you've bought this house, renovated it and stuff, come to this screen here, and take a screenshot and put it on like Imgur, or whatever you call it, or some like website, and leave a link in the comments to your pictures, because I'm actually interested to see the profit you guys are making as well. But that's going to be the end of this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and turn on notifications so that you are alerted when a new video goes up. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.